What's up everybody? Welcome back to CZ's YouTube channel. It's your girl Clay. And your boy Jesse. And you guys seem to really enjoy our very first episode of Reverse Choreography with Franklin Yu and Tung Fu Hustle. So we're back today with a brand new episode. Today we have dancer Martha Kwan creating a choreography to no music and then producer Mizu creating a custom track to Martha's choreography. Let's get into it. Hi, my name is Martha Kwan. I've danced with Maker Empire, AC Hip Hop, and most currently I'm with Culture Shock Los Angeles. I've taken inspiration from sounds that I already know that I like. I tried to add what I felt like would be a climax, right, and like what would be a build-up. I had a really hard time keeping track of like the pattern that I wanted to use, so I ended up making my own soundtrack. Um, this is really embarrassing, but... <laughs> It's completely unfamiliar territory trying to imagine sounds with your body. The main difference is you have no crutch. <laughs> it's just as gratifying because you technically don't need the music to make movement and to enjoy it and to find just as much fun and happiness. What is up, Steezy? My name is Mizu, I live in LA, California, producing music for about six years and recently got hit up by my good pal, Clay, about doing this reverse choreo challenge. So without any further delay, let me show you guys how I broke down the track. All right, so there's three parts of this track. Part one is the intro. Martha's like chill, she does a lot of like hit on the one, milk got the next move. Swag. Part two is where Martha turns it up. So we come in with this bounce, some fat 808s, some rapping going on. Over the map, I put it my back. What's fun about producing is you can make your own samples. The <sighs> is actually me. <sighs> it's a nice background sound that gives another groove to the dance. Part three is when she wants to have some fun. The thing about producing songs like this where sections change, you have to give the listener a chance to adapt. I do this by giving a little preview of what the third section is supposed to sound like. She did this little like stalling move right here. The first time I saw that, I, I just imagined a clock ticking. I'm all about being creative with my sounds. Like for example, you can hear me go oi in Japanese. Oi, oi. And the final section, we got that future bass going on. Instead of using hats, which was like the obvious choice, I did a little arp that goes Brrrr. With that being said, I just end the song with her little head nod. So overall, this was a lot more challenging than I expected. I wanted it to look more natural. Once everything started to come together, I was like, this is the right move. Like, I can't go back anymore. I've gone too far. That's definitely one of the hardest parts about producing music. Once you get to a certain part, it's kind of hard to unhear or unsee what you did. Something I learned while making this track was just, you gotta experiment, like no matter what. A lot of us get in a routine when we've been doing something for a long time. So I really enjoyed this challenge. And you know, Martha, when you watch this, I hope I did your choreo justice. Hope you guys enjoy it.
however long that was. There's a whole outro. There's an intro and an outro. Oh my God. <laughs> this goom, 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 goosh. The way he used it and the sound that he used to emphasize it was like, beautiful, it's gonna make me cry. <laughs> if this were something that were pre-released, I probably would have been a lot more aggressive. Shout out to Mizu for making a super dope, oh, I'm still like, I'm still sweating over it, but shout out to me too for making such a beautiful track. Thank you so much for watching. Peace. Thank you all for tuning in to our second episode of Reverse Choreography. You can find these two on Instagram, and you can find the song in the description below. And we'll see you in the next one.